Hey everybody! Here's one that I've done before way back in the early days, but this recipe deserves a better video. You'll be the most highly sought after potluck guest around with this easy and delicious smoked salmon spread that everyone's gonna love. So let's get started. This one is so easy and quick to put together, but I do recommend doing this a day or two in advance because you want to give these ingredients some time to get in there, mingle with each other a bit, and then really get to know each other and become one tight-knit family of flavor. So let's take a look at what I've got. And I'm going to start with one pound of cream cheese. And this has been sitting out at room temp for around an hour, so it's nice and soft. I've got one bundle of green onions. Of course, chives work great here, too. This is one half pound of smoked salmon, plus a little bit extra for decorating the outside. And you can get the recipe for that on the channel. And I've got about three ounces of blue cheese. The creamier, the better for this recipe. And if you're one of those people that absolutely hates blue cheese, you can go ahead and leave it out. But if you just kind of dislike blue cheese, I still recommend putting in a little bit, not enough that it becomes offensive to you, but just a little bit of blue cheese adds a little bit of complexity to the flavor of this that I think really sets it apart. The first thing I'm going to do is to blend that blue cheese with the cream cheese. Get that star, break it up a little bit. And then Get that in there. And I like to blend these together really well. If you like yours chunky, then go ahead and leave it chunky. Give that a little taste to check for the blueness. Mmm, that is nice. Now, I'm just gonna make some fine slices of these green onions. We'll take just the greens and I'll use the white parts in stock or something. <laughs> that can go right in there. And now we'll chop up the smoked salmon. So you cut your salmon as chunky or as fine as you like it. I like to cut it into pretty small cubes. These are maybe quarter inch by quarter inch, maybe a little smaller even. They're going to break up a little bit when I stir this together too. to save just a little bit for decorating the outside of this. All right, now let's just get that in there. Now this I'm just going to stir together well. I'm not going to use the fork and pulverize that salmon because I want this to be pretty chunky. So I'm just going to kind of stir it until everything is really thoroughly mixed together. And that's basically it. This is level one smoked salmon spread. You could serve this up with some crackers or some crusty bread and you're gonna make a lot of friends. But we're gonna take this up another couple of levels to get you that legendary status you've been after. Real easy, get some plastic wrap. I want you to get about half of that mix on there. All right, now this part is a little messy. You might want to get a little water on your fingertips before you do this. But I'm just going to get a little messy. We're kind of roughly form that into 
a log shape. All right, let me go wash up real quick. All right, and we'll roll that out. Yeah, kind of. Now we can form it into a nicer cylinder here. Doesn't have to be perfect right now. We can fix this up later if we need to. I've got my twin logs here, and now I'm gonna put these out into the refrigerator for a day or two to give them some time for all of those flavors to work together and also so they can firm up a bit. Now after a couple of days in the refrigerator, this is nice and firmed up now. And those flavors have had a good chance to spread all around in this. So this is level two smoked salmon spread. Just roll this out to your desired girth, plate it up on top of some frilly greens and throw some crackers and bread around it. And that's a dish that'll have people talking, but it still needs a little something more to complete the pinnacle party plate. So here's what we're gonna do. I've got some fresh chive from the garden. Of course, more green onions gonna work fine here too. I'm just gonna cut these really, really fine. Now I've got that little bit of smoked salmon that I held back. And I've also got these smoked salmon spines. And I always smoke my salmon spines specifically for this recipe because these little bits of meat that you scrape off here are like salmon candy. They have so much flavor and they are perfect for this job. Now we'll just chop this all up nice and fine. Of course, I don't expect anybody has smoked salmon spines just laying around, but it's something to keep in mind for the next time you make some smoked salmon, because this stuff is just like bacon. All right, let's grab a plate. I will throw down a lot of those fresh chives. Our finely cut salmon bits. Kind of toss that all together. And a whole bunch of fresh, coarse ground black pepper. Now get that log down in there and roll it right over. Pick up that beautiful coating. Don't forget those ends. Now that is a thing of beauty. Check out that beautiful color. And I do like to add those toppings shortly before I serve this because it adds an element of freshness and another layer of flavor to this. Check out that bite. Oh yeah! <laughs> this is absolutely luxurious. <laughs> it's rich and creamy, and the flavors of salmon and onion are absolutely perfect together. 
And then there's a little complexity from that blue cheese, a little crunch off those fresh cracked peppercorns. Dang, that is the stuff of folklore. <laughs> Oh yeah, salmon fishing is hot right now, so I hope you can get out there and get some, or give some love to your local smokehouse. And when you do, I really hope you try this, and I know you're gonna love it. Thanks for watching.